Hey Bruce Biddies, what is up? My name is Jared from Frost Network, and today we are going to be building a fire truck. So the blocks that we are going to need is a block of coal, red stained clay, block of quartz, quartz slabs, um, quartz stairs, signs, buttons, uh, black stained glass, and black stained glass panes. Now, this is not all the blocks. We're going to need much more than this, but this is going to go ahead and get us started. So what I want to go ahead and do is place one block. Go ahead and skip five blocks, and uh, nope, that's four. So skip five blocks, So and then you're going to place another block like so. And then you're going to skip one block here, and you're going to skip one block there. So it looks like this. Then what you guys are going to go ahead and do is I accidentally forgot a slab. So we need the stone slabs. I'm just going to go ahead and replace them. Yeah, I'll just replace the quartz slab for now. Then what you guys are going to go ahead and do is just fill this in like this. So let's just go ahead and get a basic framework of this whole thing on how we want it to be. And as you guys can see, we have one block hanging off the edge. And this is going to be the front with two blocks there. And in the back, we're going to have two blocks. So there we go. So this is the basic framework that we're going to go ahead and need. We're going to go ahead and place stone buttons on the black stained clay. Or the black stained... Um, coal. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and outline this whole entire thing with red stained clay and build it up to two blocks, two blocks high. And then three blocks high. There we go. And on the fourth block high, we're going to go ahead and get our slabs back. So we just need to go ahead and get that quartz slab and just put that back in there. And we're going to have it going all the way around the edge like so. Now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of something different. But it'll. I am just want to have a basic frame of this entire thing. Okay. So in the front here, we're going to break this here, and we're going to go ahead and just place the um, stairs in front. And you guys can go ahead and turn them like this, so that way they are curved. We're going to go ahead and break all this here, and one on the side here and here for the window. Let's go ahead and place black stained uh, glass here, and then we're going to go ahead and place these stained panes on the side right here and here. Let's go ahead and break on the tires on both sides, and we'll get to this in a minute. Let's go ahead and break the here. Place upside down stair here, and upside down stair here, and uh, we're going to do the same thing. Well, actually, let's go ahead and put our stairs down. So I'm going to go ahead and place our uh, signs like so, all the way around the entire thing. And I didn't mean to place one there. Here and here, here and here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and break right here in the front as well and I'm going to get furnaces and I'm going to go ahead and place the furnaces in right here then what we need is item frames uh, place the furnaces and the item frames will go right on the tires for the rims there we go uh, we need doors just go ahead and use an iron door. Hold on. So place that one in backwards here, backwards here, and I'm just going to break a hole here for now, and I'll just replace that up. What I want to go ahead and do is one, two, three, like this, on both sides, and place it in the middle. Now, obviously, you won't be able to walk through this now, but um, what this is going to be used for is the engine room. Uh, so like where the hoses and stuff will come off. Now what you guys can use is dispensers. And we're going to place two dispensers down at the bottom on both ends. We're going to go ahead and use cobble. Here in the middle connecting them to. And going up the length of the two. There we go. Now we can just add some signs in here in the back, like as drawers for like tools. If they needed the tools, they just like pull them out, you know? So it's just a drawer that has tools in it. And there we go, so that one's done. Then what we can go ahead and do is, I need the 
item frames again. Uh, here they go. I'm gonna place two here in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and place one here and here. And actually, now we need to place red stain clay in the back. And we need to get, um, where is it? No, that's not how you spell it. Um, glow. We need glowstone. Then we're gonna go ahead and place our glowstone in here. We're gonna need, um, what are they? Iron bars. We're gonna just place them in the front like so, and there we go on them. Now, the most important thing is, is obviously the ladder. So let's go ahead and get that going. Oops, did not mean to do that. Oops, even worse. There we go. And so basically all I do is place slabs going down, and then I'm gonna place um, blocks of quartz going all the way to the front, and then see how it's matching the length. I'm gonna go one, two, three blocks out extra, so it's like this. Okay, so then what I wanna go ahead and do is we'll get to this part in a minute. Go ahead and get our slabs back again. I'm gonna actually delete these. Um, and what I want to do is get stairs. So we need stone brick stairs. Brick. We need stone brick blocks. We're just gonna place a block here. It doesn't really matter, it was a monster egg, but it's okay. Then we're gonna place them like that. And this can come back as well. Because we're gonna have this upside down here, upside down here, and then we need cobble. So we need a cobblestone wall piece and place that like that. So it looks like this. Then we need signs and more drawers right here and here. Then we need our item frames back again. We're gonna place our item frames down here, here, and place red stained clay there and there. Now, I want to go ahead and place an extra sign on each side over here, just to add a little bit more detail. Clean that up a little bit. And last thing that we need is rails. Now the rails are gonna be used for, as you guys can tell, as the ladder piece. So they just go like this, all the way down the length of the ladder. And there you guys go, so that's that. And what you guys can go ahead and do is I need to grab a stair here, um, yeah, a stair, right here, and have it like this. So that way it kinda looks like it's going up a little bit smoother. Or what you guys can do is have it come back one, like this, and place a slab like this, so it kinda goes up. I kind of like that style a little bit better. But that's how you guys build a fire truck. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.